We made a stone one. Oh, we could get that advancement done. All right, you know what? Oh! All right, so in the last episode, we ended on a cliffhanger. Literally, my island caught on fire, and it burnt to a crisp, at least part of it. And since the last episode, I've gathered quite a bit of iron, and you know what I've decided? I think it's time for a island cleanup session. So, let's begin. So now that we have cleaned up the island quite a bit, it's time to talk about what our actual goal this episode is. And our goal is to get a cake. The reason I want to get a cake is in order to go ahead and head to the nether and twilight forest. Now in order to get a cake, we're going to need milk, wheat, and eggs. To get wheat, we need wheat seeds. To get eggs, we need chickens. And to get chickens, we need chicken seeds. And if we're going to be looking at chicken seeds, well, here is the recipe we are working with. A bone meal, a seed, and a cottonwood acorn. We're not only going to need that, we're going to need a cow seed. And that is a piece of wheat, seeds, and leather. And to get, uh, well, just normal seeds, you obviously need grass. And thankfully, I have quite a bit of grass, but I also have to bone meal it. Now, for the cottonwood, uh, if you're wondering, I actually have the cottonwood growing right here, along with bone. Uh, so we are going to be getting enough cottonwood acorns. We already have 13 of them. But it's time that we try and get this wheat seed. We need a couple of them. So let's see if we can actually do this. Come on. Alright, got that. Got it. Alright, we got the seed that we needed. And now that I've got a wheat seed, I can go ahead and take a hoe. I could actually craft the thing. And we can bone meal the heck out of it to get more of it. And keep holding right click until we have a good amount. And I think we then should be able to get our first chicken seed. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and now take all the stuff that we have along with our cottonwood seeds or acorn. Yeah, we're going to take these, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and get some chicken seeds. So if I go over to chicken... All right, we got our first chicken seed. I'm so proud of us. We got our first one. I'm going to get another one, because you need two of them in order to breed them. And now, I have no idea what we do with these. I have no idea how we get more of these. Do I just, like, click it and then bone meal it? Oh, it uses up the crop. Um, I did not know that. Okay. You little chicken are going to stay in this box. And then you right here are going to stay in this box. And let me think. We need a platform for these guys. So I guess I'm going to extend this. Actually, I, I don't think I need to extend both sides. If I just extend one of them, I'll have enough room. And I probably will extend this even more another episode, but let me just get this platform here. Alright, so now let me go over to this side. We're going to need to get a lot more dirt for what we're doing. Uh, but right now I just want to focus on getting the chickens into a safe spot. We're going to close that off. Oh my goodness. Ah, don't attack me. I do not need you right now. Come on. Alright, that's our first of those robots. Oh boy! Uh... 
Okay. We're going to face these mobs. Oh boy. Not again. Alright, come on. Where are the mobs coming from? Just gonna torch everything. Everything that does not have a torch. Oh, this spot doesn't have a torch. Alright, well that might explain it. Oh, great. I think I just blew up one of the chickens. Wait, no, that chicken didn't die. It's invincible. What? Wait, did it? No, it didn't. It was fine. Despite the fact I blew up a huge amount of the island, it was fine. <laughs> nice. All right. No, I need to get this glass case going, though. No, I need you guys to go in the cage. Come on. Both of you. Both of you get in the cage. All right. Now... That is it. We've got our chickens. Nice. All right, so now we just go up here when we want to breed them, and we'll get our chicken seeds. Uh, oops. I could have just picked them up. Are you serious? I didn't even know you could pick mobs up. And I had this whole idea planned of how I was going to carefully lure them over. And the things you learn. Um, but I did just find out about this other really cool thing we can make. So let me just... Oh, you can't breed them up that. Well, I'll breathe them in a minute. No, I found out about this other really cool thing you can make. This is called a cow in a jar. And a cow in a jar is basically a cow that will always give you milk. It's basically a block. And the way you get it is by dropping an anvil on a cow. But th that is the way you do it. You drop an anvil onto a cow and then it goes into the jar. Now, I was wondering how we were going to get leather, and I found out that you can actually get leather by taking rotten flesh and putting it onto a drying basin. Or, you can take any cooked food and put it onto a drying rack. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting some stuff done when it comes to cows. Hey everyone, so we are about to get ourselves a cow in a jar, which, as I explained earlier, is a way to automatically farm milk. Now, there's a issue with the cow in a jar that I didn't realize. Uh, one, it requires a milk bucket. Uh, rather, a milk jar bucket. And two, how do we get it under our cow? Like, I'm genuinely curious. Uh, so, we're gonna try and figure that out. But, I'm going to first... Oh. Our glass needs to be dyed. Why do we need to dye the glass? Uh, fine. All right, let's just go look for, uh, sand. All right. So now we should be able to make our cow in a jar if I were to just make the milk jar first. And then we just have to get our cow and put this anvil over its head. Now, how are we going to do this? And how does the, uh, farming system of this work? I don't know. Uh, let me think. We could probably... You know what I need? You know what I need? I think I need some water. This is probably not going to work the first try. But what if I were to, like... Wait, is this actually where the cow is? Yes, this is where the cow is, correct? No. Okay. So we need this right here. And we need, um, to put a, a block of cobblestone. All right, now we go back up. All right, milk jar. Then we're going to go up here. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for this cow. All right, let's break this. So we're gonna break this. Get rid of the water. Please stay. All right, I'm gonna have to find a way to get this thing back up. And then if I hit it with an anvil, yes! It gives the anvil back. And can I break this block? Yes! I got it! Oh my goodness. Okay, we need this. So now we're gonna put this over here. And now, where is the milk being stored? Can I put it into a double chest? I wonder. 
Uh, if I, if I put a chest down here, does it automatically funnel in? No, I wouldn't think it did. Alright, so we have got some of the materials that we need for a cake. We've got the wheat, we've got the milk. Do we have the eggs? We have the eggs! We have the eggs! Okay, so if I can just pour this off the map, and then milk this. Uh, okay, I think it needs over 8,000, so give it a little bit. In the meantime, we could talk about our iron production, because I have been working on iron production. If I could get these guys off the island, go away. All right, fine. Uh, no, but if I go over to my iron uh, farm right here, I've got all of this iron ready to be turned into a molten block, and I've got even more that can be crafted into a molten block. So we're just going to make a bunch of iron right now, and the objective with making iron is to get a full suit of iron armor. So let's just see how much we can make here. Iron amber. And we're going to make a total of 10. 10 is, well, 1, or sorry, 1 iron amber is 2 iron liquid, so basically 10 would be 20. And we're just going to wait for that, and go wait for this thing. Alright guys, so I finally got some sand and sugarcane growing. You actually need to grow sugarcane by placing sugarcane seeds, sorry, on a piece of sand. And with that, we should have enough to finally make this. We just need to go get our final bucket of milk, and then our episode's objective will be complete. So we're going to go ahead and make the cake. Put all the items in. What? Oh, right. Do that. Now, we have a cake. And with this cake, we are going to venture into other dimensions. We are going to leave the captivity of our base, and in the next episode, we'll hopefully be going to the Nether or to Twilight. We'll see which comes first. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye for now, and have a happy New Year's, and I hope you all had a great Christmas. See you next year. Bye!